When 200 gallons of oil were removed from a tank, the volume of oil left in the tank was three-sevenths of the tank's capacity. What was the tank's capacity? So in order to figure this out, we'd need to know either how much oil, how much of the tank was empty and how much was in use before the 200 gallons were taken out, or once the 200 gallons were taken out, how much is left in the capacity in terms of number of gallons. So some kind of piece of information like that would allow us to answer the question. Statement number one says, before the 200 gallons were removed, the tank was at half of the tank's capacity. And so it means that we had one half the capacity, we subtracted 200, and then that left us with three-sevenths of the tank's capacity. Well, that is something that would allow us to solve for the tank's capacity. That statement by itself is sufficient. So forget about statement number one, just focus on statement number two. After the 200 gallons were removed, the volume of oil left in the tank was 1,600 gallons less than the tank's capacity. And so that means that when, after the oil has been taken out, there's three-sevenths with oil in it. And so that means that there's four-sevenths of the tank empty. And we're saying that that four-sevenths equals 16,000 gallons. So that too would allow us to figure out the entire capacity. And so this statement by itself is also sufficient. Both statements are sufficient. Answer choice D.